Good afternoon, ladies, and thank you for joining us in Far Above Rubies today. I'm so glad that each of you are here. I had a long night last night. Forgive my tired, puffy eyes, but we're going to dive quickly into our hero of the faith today. Imagine walking with the Lord for years and having a close personal relationship with Him, and then imagine a circumstance under which you would feel led to deny even knowing him. Can you imagine that? I can't imagine that, and yet every single one of us is human and can't say that there's no circumstance under which we'd feel compelled to hide our faith, right? Sometimes even in a workplace or in our schools or our college campuses, we feel compelled to hide our faith, and yet there is redemption beyond those sort of moments. Our hero of the faith today, um, we're going to talk about for just a moment, is Peter. Peter was a normal, everyday, average guy. He was a fisherman, a, um, a blue-collar, everyday Joe next door. And yet, he had Jesus Christ say that he was giving him, he was giving Peter, the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And that is why we see Peter deliver the message in Acts chapter 2, which is going to be your reading challenge for today, Acts chapter 2. Read the whole chapter. And the reason I want you to read this chapter is because I want you to realize and understand that of all the things we know of Peter, that he was a little bit of um, a character. He was a little bit of a stubborn guy. He was a little bit of a... Um, a guy who made bad judgment calls and even at times questioned the Lord. And we can all find ourselves in Peter's story. We can all find ourselves in Peter's character. It doesn't matter who you are or how long you've walked with the Lord. You have made a bad judgment call in your life. I have. You have misstepped. You have hidden your faith at one time or another. Maybe you didn't deny Jesus, but maybe you just hid your faith a little. Maybe you were embarrassed to be that Christian girl in your workplace. Maybe you were embarrassed at people recognizing who and what you were, and you just didn't speak up about your faith when you felt you should have. Peter lets us know that your pedigree doesn't matter to Jesus. Where you come from, who your family is, how much money you have, what your job is, it doesn't matter to Jesus. If he invited you to follow him, then you're important. And you too can have the keys to the kingdom of heaven. You too can give the most important message that somebody will ever hear. And that's why I want you to read Acts chapter 2 today. Because I want you to think about all the flaws in Peter. I want you to think about his lack of pedigree. I want you to think about his lack of education. I want you to think about every flaw you could, you've ever heard about Peter. And then realize that God used him. God used him to deliver the most powerful message ever preached on the face of the planet. And that is the message of salvation through Jesus Christ, in his name, through baptism, through receiving of his spirit, he preached the most powerful message. It was short, it was concise, but God used someone like Peter. God used someone like Peter, broken, human, just like all of us, because he was willing, because he understood who God was, he understood who Jesus Christ was, that he was the Messiah, read Acts chapter 2, and I'm challenging you today, I'm challenging you today to accept in yourself, accept in your mind and your heart and your spirit that God can use you, that God can use you. If I had looked at myself through my eyes instead of God's, I would not be a pastor's wife today, I would not be a church planter's wife today. I am nothing special even now, but I am a vessel that God can use. I surrender myself to Him, and I'm, I'm challenging you today to do that. Read Acts chapter 2. Think of Peter's flaws and his humanity through this beautiful sermon that he gives. And then I want you to pray, and I want you to accept that God can and will use you if you are willing to let Him be a vessel 
be a vessel and deliver the most important message that someone can hear in their lifetime, and that is the message of Jesus Christ and his death, burial, resurrection, his salvation that is readily available to everyone. I love you all. Thank you for being here today. Shout out in the comments and let me know that you are here, and I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you.